I'm Amanda, and these are the 20 food prep basics all organic agricultural trainees should know. Not only will knowing these steps help you in the kitchen when you create delicious plant-based foods, but they are going to transform the lives of the individuals you help when you share what you've learned from Organics for Orphans with other communities. Shall we get started? Now, we're going to teach you how to make a mango tomato dressing. Why mango tomato? Well, because mangoes and tomatoes are very easy to find for most people in Africa, where in comparison, a lot of other dressings might include nuts and seeds and oils, the mango tomato dressing is very affordable and it tastes delicious. To begin with, we're going to use four to five tomatoes. I'm going to use five today because of the size, nice aroma, and three mangoes. In addition, I'm going to use one and a half cloves of garlic, tablespoon of onion, about one tablespoon of lime juice, and some coriander, as well as some sea salt. So to start with, I've already washed all my different fruits and vegetables. I'm just going to roughly chop them and put them in the blender. We're just going to peel and add the mango to our dressing. We're going to use two, maybe one and a half cloves of garlic. So chop off the ends. Got two cloves right here. So put one in, another half. I'm going to use about one tablespoon fresh onion, we're going to use some fresh lime juice and you can either squeeze or you can use this contraption. We need about a tablespoon of lime juice and we're going to filter it through a mesh screen so we don't get any seeds in there. I'm going to set that aside. Now, if I were using fresh herbs, I'd probably use almost an eighth of a cup, which is a nice little handful. But using dried herbs, they're going to be more potent. Therefore, I'm probably only going to use about half a tablespoon. The last part of the mango tomato dressing is to add some sea salt. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon. Remember, you can always add more, so it's great to start with just a little bit at a time. Okay, now we're going to blend this in the Vitamix. Now put your lid on top. The great thing about the mango tomato dressing is that it's naturally creamy. So you can add more mango if you prefer lots of sweetness or you can keep a more tomato base. It just depends upon what you like. Feel free to play around with this recipe, add fresh herbs and most importantly just make a dressing that you enjoy so that you eat more leafy green salad more often.